Good morning. This is Bobby Dupre with the Bobby Dupre Show, presented to you each Thursday morning at 7 a.m. And of course, it uh, replays in its entirety uh, on uh, Sunday afternoon at 3 p.m. And uh, many of you, of course, are watching it on your computers back home. A few are probably watching it on your s cell phones and uh, iPads, iPads uh, all kind of good ways to watch the Bobby Dupre Show. And uh, oftentimes, uh, people that uh, I take pictures of, I meet them at different events, like I have at the event that uh, I just attended, the Mamu uh, Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras. Uh, it not just uh, it it, la it lasted the whole weekend for me because I I have my little apartment there, the Mamu Hilton Suite, and uh, had a great time. And we'll get to that later. We've got a lot of good pictures to talk about. My sidekick here, Andrew Gitros. Good morning. And uh, of course, uh, today is uh, we have to hurry because both of us have to attend uh, 12 o'clock mass today mm -hmm. to receive our ashes. Ash Wednesday in, uh, is it, it's not just the Catholics. Uh, everybody. 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 A anyone who follows the liturgical calendar will, will you know, the Orthodox, the Methodists, uh, the Episcopalians, they'll all be uh, taking time. Not everyone does ashes, but almost all of them start Lent begins. So everyone Lent begins to begins. focus on, okay. on Lent. Give us a little synopsis on that. Because <laughs> uh, one thing we, we learned uh, that would have been uh, Monday, that uh, our Pope Benedict uh, is uh, retiring, uh, well, retiring. Uh, we haven't had one retiring in, in About 600, 600 years. years since a Pope. They usually die in that position. And... Uh, uh, I guess I'm maybe liberal. I don't know what you'd call it. Uh, I think it's a good idea because uh, the priests have to retire at 70, mm -hmm. and then uh, the, the bishops, bishops 75. and cardinals are, uh, at 75. So uh, I, I think uh, by that time uh, they can leave their mark. And uh, you kind of corrected me there. <laughs> we wouldn't have Benedict would not have been the the pope because he was what like 79, 79 I guess but when he was elected. That's a little unusual. Hopefully mm -hmm. we'll get a younger a person and uh, maybe he he too will see uh, the advantage of allowing a change and go back and then they can kind of look at what, what, what they did, they what, retired. What an advantage to, whenever you sit in your office and you're looking over things, you can go downstairs and talk to that fellow downstairs that sat in that chair before, you know. Just think the resource to talk to the, to the retired pope just, just to get. But the way they're talking, when he leaves, he's gone. He's, he's going to be. And, you know, I've been on a few boards and all, yeah. and when you're out, you're you know out. what? You're, you're out. out. <laughs> and uh, Sol Dupre Carrier got you. And, of course, I'm still active there in a sense that. Uh, people still call me, and I, I try to help them just like I always did. But uh, boards uh, 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 that you just serve on, bank boards and different right. governmental boards, uh, when you're out, you're out. But uh, the uh, plan, uh, it won't be long before we'll have a, a, a new pope. But uh, Probably the middle of March, they'll probably call the conclave, should be around March 15th, and usually in a few days they vote. They, they vote, and uh, they got the little smoke. Got to watch for the white smoke. White, white. The black smoke means no pope. No white pope. smoke means They've got a pope. Got a pope. Uh, that's kind of cute, uh, and they, that's something that's else that, that they keep on doing. Uh, what about... Uh, about ashes. We're going to get our ashes. ashes. Yes. Everyone's watching us on Thursday. They're watching us on St. Valentine's Day, <laughs> but we're r recording the day before on Ash Wednesday. That's correct. And normally we've got our ashes when we do the program. I uh, kind of felt bad. I figured you were going to go. And uh, it, it makes it kind of hard because it... I'm putting everything together. Uh, I worked last night uh, on it till, till rather late, I guess 10, 10.30, uh, because I had not seen all my papers and get some of the latest things. And uh, anyhow, uh, up and at it early this morning, and hopefully we can give you a, a good, interesting uh, program. Mm -hmm. uh, why don't, what, I want to hit some sponsors. A couple of our sponsors, How please. about right out the gate? Piggly Wiggly, and I can tell you that they got some good food over there. I was down at Piggly Wiggly South in Opelousas this weekend. I got a huge stuff, pork roast. I got some fresh uh, green beans to cook on the side, some nice, uh, some rolls just to brown in the oven to go with all that. Great selection, great prices. 
go by and the people are so nice and taking good care of you, bag it all nice and neat for you. Uh, three, three locations, two in Opelousas, one in Simsport. They do the, uh, the deli there in Opelousas as well. If you want to get you some sandwiches made or wh whatever, they do that. Do any kind of catering events for you. The pig knows best. Well, last week, uh, I guess around Thursday, uh, went over to Piggly Wiggly here on Piggly Wiggly South and uh, to visit with Joy, which I did visit. But uh, the owner of uh, the, the three stores, Kevin Doucette, was there and so we had a nice little uh, opportunity to visit and I put in my order for my pork steaks uh, and they were done properly and I picked them up uh, around 10, 11 o'clock on uh, Monday uh, and uh, barbecued uh, the pork steaks all day uh, on uh, Tuesday and I barbecued myself a good bit and we mm -hmm. have Big Pat comes and helps me and uh, the ladies helped me make the sandwiches and all cut the meat. Uh, we, we sliced the, just like uh, Donald Link uh, with cochons, chef, right. showed us how to do it. We're still doing it, Donald. And uh, the, the pork was real, real good. And the, it was cut and seasoned properly for us. And then, of course, we, we bought, while we were there, uh, Gary Amon uh, from Mamu, had, mm -hmm. he does the gumbo on the Monday night. And uh, he had uh, came with me from Mamu, because I, I was at the Mamu Hilton, as I mentioned earlier, uh, in, in one of their suites. And uh, I might add that uh, we came over here and he was uh, able to get all his mixtures and his chicken and his sausage and everything tossed the whole nine yards uh, right here with, uh, Piggly Wiggly. with Piggly Wiggly and uh, a good gumbo. And we ended up the gumbo last night. Uh, I think we had a little bit left in the pot, some gravy and some good uh, broken up chicken. You know how it gets at the end of the day. Uh, a ramp took him a gallon of it home. And uh, the uh, gentleman from uh, uh, some part of Texas came by and picked up the last six sandwiches we had. <laughs> I had offered him sandwiches earlier in the day, right. and apparently he remembered that. He and was hungry. Hungry, and that, that cleaned it out. And that's how you like to do it. Whatever you cook, Just you want to get out. Because today we can't eat meat, us Catholics. And so, uh, you and know, Fridays. and Friday, but uh, today is, right. is the day. The leftovers, well, we just have to maybe stretch them till Thursday. Carl's Thrift Away, all your medicinal needs. Go by Carl's. And uh, I even had someone call me this week to ask about the arthritis thing. They heard me talk, talking about the fact that what they've got at Carl's is a lot of these topical uh, treatments for arthritis. If you're hurting in certain places, they've got certain medications that they can help you with that you can put where the pain is happening. Really good, real useful. It helps you with stiffness, inflammation, and pain. Go by Carl's Thrift Away. They're open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturdays from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. Uh, Over-the-counter medications, great gift ideas and home decorating ideas as well. That's Carl's in Opelousas. Uh, Kitty Kimball, I've talked about her mm -hmm. a number of times over the years, and uh, I remember that uh, when she ran uh, for uh, the Supreme Court uh, as one of the justices, mm -hmm. uh, one of the judges uh, on it, uh, we had supported her, and Lala and I uh, had given her a fundraiser at the Red Camp. Mm -hmm. And, of course, I knew her husband, Clyde, well, he had served uh, two or three terms in the state legislature. Mm -hmm. And uh, she has retired after 20 years of service, and she came she back from a major stroke. Oh, yeah. She, she was even the, uh, she was the Chief Justice. Chief Justice, yeah. First, first woman first on woman. the court and first Chief Justice as right, well. Right, right. And a Miss Johnson uh, has uh, been elected uh, mm -hmm. a, a black female. She's the first black female to, s to, serve, in to serve in that position. So, and I guess uh, I guess Miss Kimball's going to just stick to the restaurant business. Uh, don't they own they own TJ no, Ribs or no, a piece no, of no, it? no? Her, her son owns a, a, a oh, portion. Oh, her son. It's, it's her, her son. son. Oh, her okay. son owns a portion. Excellent. And uh, when he sees me, he, he remembers and comes by and says hello. Very good. And of course, we have fond memories of T.J. T. J. Ribs on that Sunday night mm -hmm. when that uh, rich uh, gentleman, uh, Mr. Mr. Pennington. Pennington, Doc Pennington, Doc Pennington came and sat next to us and uh, just uh, made our whole week. And uh, he had fond members of Toby's uh, 
Sea Lane Club. That's right. Toby That's right. Sea Lane, Lane Club. Sea Lane he'd, he'd come here on Sunday afternoons. They'd play a round of golf, and then they'd dress up and put on their white suits. He said, and mm -hmm. he—I mean, he had it down. He reminded us of of the fact that this was a highlight of of people's uh, lives in that time coming to the Cedar Lane and travel Club. all the way down here to do that and I mean. the big bands would come in on Sunday afternoon they would either come in from New Orleans on the way to Houston or Houston on, on, on that the way Gulf to New circuit they follow along the Gulf and, and Highway 190 yeah. was on the path in those days and we're not far off the path now stop in and visit the Hargrove of Vidrine family reunion is this weekend, Saturday at the Amberley Building Grounds. There's RV parking available and all from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. They're even going to have a 4 p.m. mass. For more info, you can call Mardell Sibley, 692-0429. And then next Wednesday, uh, the Opelousas Lighthouse Mission is going to have their chapel dedication and ribbon cutting. They built a little chapel across the street uh, from the Lighthouse Mission right there on South Street. Uh, they'll be cutting the ribbon. Everybody go out there. You and I'll be filming the show next Wednesday yeah. at that time, so we're not yeah. going to better go. Johnny had really done a good Johnny job. Johnny Carrier uh, heading it up, yeah. and of course the whole community has come together to help yeah. finance and help support them. So let's uh, get a couple of pictures. We, we have can. a couple of minutes before the let's first quarter it. ends, and uh, this picture here was taken uh, probably last Wednesday, having. Uh, Oh, lunch over at uh, if um, the where? crawfish house. That's the crawfish house yeah. right there, and I had just seen them maybe a day or two before that at uh, Joe's sandwich shop. There you uh, do. I mentioned I had been to Joe's, and uh, of course uh, on the right in the red shirt, uh, Don Stanford and his uh -huh. uh, lovely wife Carol, right. and Carol's son. Uh, Trent Mars right. and uh, Carol has two sons Trent and Chad and uh, they were enjoying their lunch like I enjoyed mine the famous author Don that's Stanford. correct there you go I've got to put in a plug there. that's right and uh, the place was packed in his uh, Ted Bellard we'll talk about uh, mm -hmm. Targill seasoning. Our, see, well, sure we can and talk about on it. his right uh, to our left in the blue shirts is uh, Wife Melanie and uh, Jade on the right, the daughter. Boy, she's grown up. She looked at me. She knows I hadn't recognized her right away, but right. then I, I realized, that, hey, sugar, how you doing? With Ted and family with the locally owned Targill Seasoning, Butcher Supplies, Cutlery and Kitchen Supplies right there on Wartell Avenue. If you want to go down right here in Opelousas and get all your things that you need. Can't miss him now with that big sign. That, I've got to right. scream that, that in there. That sign is neat. looks like a big shaker can of seasoning out there. They'll, they'll do your own mixtures of seasoning. They'll help you with recipes that they have, do all the artwork for your cans. And it's everything for if you want to sell seasoning, if you want to just mix some seasoning to use for your camp, if you're giving it away for family reunions, whatever, they can handle it from the little store to the biggest restaurant. That's Targill Seasoning. And let's go to some more photos here. We've got... Um, this lady here. Miss Jennifer over at Cash Magic uh, on the way to Eunice, right outside of Eunice. Truck stop right on the right. And I had ahead. stopped in there early and showed she and her fellow worker, who was not on duty at the time, and uh, she recognized me and I recognized her. That beautiful smile will always make you a living, Gem Jennifer, and y'all are fortunate at Cash Magic to have good employees such as Jennifer. Then we went on to the Mamu office and you were hanging some of your arts and crafts. That's correct, sure office. did. And that was the beautiful uh, bird house that uh, my lovely daughter, Miss uh, Kelly, uh, made for me. And of course, the two uh, pins, uh, Santa pins, that uh, are sold each year and created uh, and uh, sold by Susie Peck. That's right. And, and her, her son the did the artwork. And her son did the artwork. We got to take a one minute break, folks. We're going to see you on the other side of one.